Hi again, another very short video here to add to the movement unit here, a little bit of a nature of science link. Remember that in the syllabus there are these new nature of science kind of references up at the top so that you can really try to understand uh, what science is all about, including the significance of studies that have been done before, how research actually works, links between different disciplines that sometimes the findings are just out of luck and sometimes they're out of really cool kick butt planning. So we're talking about muscles and muscle contractions. So here's a quick little diagram here. You should be familiar with this stuff. If you don't, then probably this isn't going to make any sense to you. So you understand that in your muscle fibers, uh, down in the myofibrils, you have uh, actin filaments and myosin filaments. And in order to make this muscle kind of move or contract or shorten, like the biceps to shorten in order to cause your elbow to bend, the myosin heads have to grab on to kind of binding sites on actin and they they pull like rowers heave ho heave ho heave ho and then it ends up pulling everything towards so shown this in in previous videos uh, ATP is involved you got to know the specific role that ATP plays but we're not talking about that specifically here also in one of the previous videos we talked about the role of calcium and how calcium kind of binds to troponin and then causes this blue filament tropomyosin to kind of shift out of the way so that the myosin can actually bind there so basic understanding is if there's no calcium it doesn't bind to troponin and then tropomyosin gets in the way and that sounds like trip up myosin so when trip trip trips up myosin filament is preventing myosin from binding to actin because it trips up myosin so anyways that's how this works so people figured this out by using radioactive labeling so You've seen this in many examples in topic seven. If you're doing higher level, then you understand that we've used uh, all types of labeling of like phosphorus, radioactive phosphorus, radioactive sulfur for the Hershey and Chase experiment. Uh, we've done it with the Calvin cycle for the photosynthesis unit as well too. So all kinds of radioactive labeling in order to help us visualize and actually see things that are going on. So, a special calcium isotope called calcium 45 was used and you can actually visualize this and so they found using this technique called auto radiography which is mentioned in many other places throughout the syllabus so you make sure to check that out in the plants unit for the calvin cycle experiments that calvin actually did to figure out what the products of um, photosynthesis were so using this technique, they can show that calcium tends to show up in specific locations when you're looking at muscle fiber kind of cross sections. And it turns out the calcium always showed up. In other words, there was always a little bit of radioactivity being given off wherever there was overlap between actin and myosin. So it's only present in the overlapped regions and not in the relaxed regions, which suggests that calcium is not needed in these relaxed regions. I'm getting confused between the words regions and reasons. Excuse me for that. So reason right here, the reason why we only find the radioactive calcium in these overlapped regions is because calcium must be necessary in order to help uh, contraction to happen. So further investigation revealed basically what we talked about earlier that calcium ions end up binding to troponin, these little red dots right here, which causes the tropomyosin to move out of the way and therefore allows, allows myosin to actually bind. So other experiments have shown that if there's no calcium there, then you don't get any muscle contraction. Also, fluorescent dyes have been used to actually track myosin head movement so you can see that you actually have a little bit of movement from the heads moving back and forth that power stroke is what they call it okay that beep beep means my time is done see ya